Hi everyone and welcome to Raimondo Family Adventures. Hope you're all doing okay today. So we're going to show you this Type 22 pillbox. Um, I do believe it is a Type 22. Um, that's from the uh, what I've read online. It's near Acle in Norfolk. And if you see my previous video of the circular walk that I did with the family, uh, that I actually show you the pillbox in a bit more detail. Uh, also, along this lane is a church, which I also show in another video. Uh, and it's all in my Norfolk playlist if you uh, want to check it out. So, the pillbox is a Type 22 pillbox. Uh, apparently, the pillbox was constructed in 1940 as part of an anti-invasion defence system. The slots within the concrete walls, which I will show you in a second, um, were designed for rifles and light machine guns. So we'll just... Um, I'll come up to the church and just show you this uh, bit of footage, because it's a pleasant, pleasant bit of footage. This church is amazing. It's just like stuck in the middle of these fields, and it's been there for a long time. But definitely I thought worth showing you. Um, right, so straight on now guys. So as you can see, it's got little slots that are designed for um, rifles and light machine guns. The Nazi German forces invaded the Netherlands in May 1940 and their plan to invade England was named Operation Sea Lion and it could have happened at any time. The village of Acol was declared a Category A nodal point, a place capable of holding out for seven days. As part of this defence, the marshes were covered in poles with wires to stop aircraft landing. There is an actual total, or well, there were a total of 12 pillboxes, a naval flotilla of three boats and a concrete tank block positioned next to the railway line. Other deterrents were railway line track that was mounted vertically in concrete on, on roads to hinder any enemy transport movements. So this Type 22 pillbox was manned by Acol Home Guard and was designed to overlook the marshes towards Great Yarmouth. So yeah, quite interesting. And I'll tell you another interesting fact, my great granddad was part of the Home Guard um, and did serve in the First World War and in the Second World War was part of Home Guard and did play quite an important role um, because where he grew up and lived there were a few battles in the skies and a few Germans were captured in the area. So looking over here as you can see there's another church in the background I actually didn't record this initially I, I forgot it was there and then I thought oh yeah there's a church there but I never got a chance to walk over to it so one last look at the pillbox guys and the farm in the background beautiful and I'm glad it's still there we need to remember these parts of history so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it Probably talked quite a lot over it, but I needed to get it all out there, the information. So thank you, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.